It's estimated that as many as 8.5 million Canadians will come down with the flu in a typical year, or about one in four of us. Getting the flu can be a most unpleasant experience, so the first thing to do is not get it in the first place. That may not be easy, but staying healthy is your first step. Having a multivitamin daily just helps keep you on track, so keep your immune system up to par. Um, other things, taking a vitamin C and D vitamins are really good at preventing the flu or the cold. Regular hand washing is super important, probably your best way to prevent catching anything, just because um, the flu is spread through droplets in the air when people cough or sneeze, and then if you touch something and then you touch your mouth or nose, and you, you end up getting um, sick. Another way to prevent the flu is to get a vaccine. And in BC, you can do that now at your local pharmacy. The convenience of it is great. You can go into any pharmacy, well not any pharmacy, the ones that have the injection training and come in either by appointment or some of them do drop-ins, get your injection and you're good to go. If you do get sick, try to determine first if you have the flu or a cold, which tends to be milder and without the fever and body aches. Also with the flu, you know, the onset will be way faster, like almost immediate. Um, you'll have a lot more aches and pains, um, and the flu is also highly contagious. For most people, the flu isn't too bad. Yes, you will feel rotten and may miss a couple of days at work, but you'll generally get through it. For others, though, it can be very serious, even life-threatening. Up to 8,000 Canadians die each year, so it's important to prevent the spread by washing your hands, coughing into your arm, and avoiding crowds. It is more important for the people who are at risk to obviously get their flu vaccine, but it's just as important for the people around them and the rest of us to get it too, just to prevent spread, because once you have it, you could spread it on to someone else who maybe wouldn't be able to fight it off as well. So it's really kind of a group effort to kind of keep the flu at bay. Another thing to remember, there is no such thing as a stomach flu. The flu is in your lungs, and other aches and pains are a response to the virus. The stomach flu, when people say that, it's more referring to probably some food poisoning or something like that. Kind of like you're one day, like you're sick and your body's trying to fight off the whatever bad thing you ate. Now, ultimately, there is no cure for the flu. Once you get it, you're stuck with it. But there are over-the-counter medications to help relieve the symptoms. This is a really good combination product. Um, it's got a little bit of acetaminophen in it to help with any aches and pains, as well as um, a decongestant to help with congestion and a cough suppressant. Once you have the flu, the key to getting better is just rest, fluids. Other than that, there are products that can help you kind of deal with your symptoms. The difference between the day and the night is that they have an added antihistamine in the nighttime portion, which just causes some drowsiness to actually help you be able to fall asleep. However, most of these medications are not recommended for children. With kids, it's really important using the non-drug stuff, so um, rest, fluids again. For congestion, there are saline um, sprays and rinses that can help um, prevent dry noses and also just loosen up the mucus. Also, lozenges are really good for a sore throat. The other thing you can do is just doing a saltwater gargle at home a few times a day. For more information on the flu, visit fightflu.ca.